All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So I actually just posted a video uh, not too long ago here, basically talking about the possibility of the Jets moving on from wide receiver Denzel Mims and cornerback Bryce Hall before or on the NFL trade deadline, okay, which is November 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern. Quickly approaching, right? It's less than two weeks away here. So it's going to be a super exciting day, nerve wracking at the same time. The trade deadline always gets me fired up. I also talked about two team fits for each player. I'll find the video. I'll leave it linked down below in the uh, in the description. Uh, so feel free to check it out if you want. If not, no big deal. I guess, supposedly when I was filming, I guess there was some more Elijah Moore drama on Twitter. Um, I guess he put up some pretty cryptic tweets and I checked out his profile. I didn't really see anything like too like cryptic or weird or anything like that. Um, he was excused from practice and then saw, I believe it was Robert Sala that said uh, there's uh, some sort of a family thing going on. So Moore was excused from practice. People were tying it into uh, Moore's frustration after the Packers game where he had zero targets. And in fact, he actually tweeted back at Rich Samini, who said, hey, Elijah Moore, I mean, this is pretty shocking here, but Moore had zero targets. Moore pr pretty much just voices frustration and you know displeasure with it and everything like that. Um, and I, I remember posting a video on it a couple days ago. To be honest with you, to me, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I mean, if there's something going on with his family, I think that should be the first where he's, you know, excusing himself from practice. I, I think that should really be the first, um, you know, point of attack. Like, like that should be the first thing that we got to worry about here. Not, um, is he quitting on the jets or is he, you know, uh, being a head case or anything like that? I mean, hopefully everything with Moore's family is okay. This guy has to leave practice. You know, that that's first and foremost. Secondly, even if it is, you know, let, let's say it wasn't like he had nothing going on with his family. If he was just frustrated, at the end of the day, he is only 22 years old, 22. He's in the, we're not even in the, we're not even through the first half of his second NFL season yet for a guy that has been absolutely dominant in college, gets to Jets training camp, lighting up Jets corners, really doing a, uh, doing a good job. I mean, people were calling him the next Antonio Brown and this and that second round pick, highly regarded him. I mean, man, also, we look at his Ole Miss career. He was racking up tons of yards and catches and touchdowns. This guy was all over the place, right? That Lane Kiffin offense, they're used to dropping 40 on defenses all the time in the SEC. So to go from that to a game in Lambeau, and really to go from his college career to being the second round pick to gaining all this moment, uh, momentum and hype, and then it you know, to, to suit up on Sunday and, and to see, you know, according to Rich Samini, zero targets, I could, I could see how a 22 year old would get a little frustrated and take to Twitter. I, I mean, to me, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, if he's, if he completely quit on the team, if he walked off, um, you, you know, maybe there'd be an issue. If there was an Antonio Brown situation where he took off his jersey, if there was a uh, Ronaldo situation that just happened yesterday, he just left the game, like just took off, um, you know, maybe it would be a lot bigger bigger of an issue. But, I mean, he didn't have a good game. He, the quarterback, he just couldn't, he didn't have any catches. No, I mean, zero production overall. I could see why a guy like that would be frustrated. Um, so look, if, to me, if this is happening in week 14, week 15, week 16, where he's, you know, uh, if he's quitting on the team, then it's going to be a problem later on. But I mean, it's literally, it was literally week six and I, I'm not too worried about it. Again, I think the first thing that needs to be talked about is Moore's family. I, I hope everything on that front is okay. And, you know, he's okay as well. Um, so to me, and maybe he tweeted something cryptic and he deleted it. I don't know. But to me, I'm not really too worried about it. 22 years old, still on his rookie deal, not even halfway through his second NFL season. I'm not worried at all. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Hopefully this whole thing gets cleared up. Hopefully everything with uh, Moore's family is okay. Um, and yeah, let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Go Jets.